Okay, and it would be good if I remember to do the LED holes here, which I completely forgot about. So let's grab the middle section again, hide down, select it, delete the turbo smooth, jump back into the bottom view, and we're just going to cut those LEDs in here. So let's take another look at the reference. Okay, we got three of them right here. Um, they're slightly smaller than the screw openings, um, so we'll just create the same way as we've been doing here, uh, as quick as we can. All right, so let's zoom in on the middle here. Now uh, let's grab another circle. And let's just draw that out quickly in the center. Take our steps back down to one. And we want to make sure that we have this, you know, the right size. So I'm just going to drag this down and line it up with this hole we have cut here in the center. Okay, we just want to make sure that's slightly smaller than the opening that we have there. Let's do maybe something like seven for the radius. Maybe 6.5. Six point two, maybe. All right, I think that's about the right size. So I'm just gonna drag this back up to the center here, so we can see it. And we'll go over and grab another plane here in the create panel, and draw that out over top. Okay, again, two by two. Let's make it maybe twenty by twenty, and we'll just center that. So let's align it to the circle. Okay, same settings. Okay, let's convert that to a poly. We do our cut here. Okay, turn off snaps, turn off cut, delete the circle, and just quad this up. All right, and we want to make sure that these ones are quite sharp, so let's grab these polygons here for the hole. Another inset, let's take that way down. Do maybe about 0 0.1, we'll hit apply and continue and OK. So we have a double uh, inset there. And we can just delete these uh, polygons out so we have the hole. All right, and we need three of these, so let's just shift drag this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is zoom in a bit here. Hold down shift, shift drag this up. Okay, we're going to line up the bottom edge of this new piece with the top edge of the original, right on top of each other. And we'll do two copies. Okay, and let's go over to attach. Attach all three together. Turn off tabs there, grab vertex, select all the verts. And we'll zoom in here. We want to make sure that we weld these verts here together. All right, so let's open up weld. Point 0.1 should be enough. Okay, so just make sure you have about 90 afterwards or a difference of six um, after you weld. Hit OK to that. Okay, we want these to be a little bit closer together, I think. So let's actually just move these down a little bit. I'm just going to move the, these uh, top words down, shorten up the different uh, distance between each hole. Maybe something like that. Same thing down here, just move these down a little bit more. Alright, so they're roughly, uh, you know, even between them. Let's also center the pivot here. And we're just going to move it over down here. All right, I just want to make sure that we have the right size. Okay, let's also make sure we have it lined up in the left view. So again, just drag that up and line it up with the bottom edge. Or if you want, you can snap it. Okay, let's also give it a little bit of a twist here. So let's go rotate it. Maybe something like that. Maybe about 40 or 45 degrees. All right, and we'll just line it up maybe around here. Let's give it a little bit more of a rotation. And I think we want this right about here. Okay, I think it might be a little too big right now. Let's see. We're just going to slightly scale it down here, just a little bit. Okay, we'll just reposition that. Um, and we're going to need to cut it in here, uh, but again, we're going to have a lot of verts uh, that we need to connect up here to get quads. Uh, so what we want to do here is try to terminate some of these uh, edges coming out of uh, these planes. 
And to do that, let's maybe grab the outer border. Let's go to scale here. I'm just going to hold down uh, shift and let's actually switch this from view to local. Okay, so we can scale properly. So we hold down shift here and scale it on X and Y at the same time. Just a little bit. Okay, and I'm just going to do it on each axis here just to kind of even it out. And let's do it one more time. So I'm going to hold down shift again and scale it on both. Just up about the same distance and then a little bit more on X to even it out. Okay, and what this allows us to do is actually snap some of these verts together uh, so we don't have so many edges to connect up, uh, similar to what we did over here. Okay. All right, so before we cut it, let's go back to vertex here and we'll just weld some of them together. Um, again, the geometry is not going to be super awesome, but it really won't cause any problems here. So what I'm going to do is start in this section. I'm going to snap this vert here to this one. Okay, just like that. It's going to give us a triangle, but again, it won't matter because the bottom is completely flat. Come down to this next one. Let's snap this one to the center edge. And the same thing over on this uh, bottom section. Snap that vert over to this one, this one over to the corner. We're going to leave this one alone here. And we'll repeat the same process on this side. So this one down to here, this one up to the center edge, this one down, and let me hit Control C there. I screwed it up. This one we want to go down. Okay, so just match what you have on the original uh, first side there. Okay, so like that's uh, that'll terminate some of those edges first, so we don't have so many birds to connect up. Okay, and I just had a bit of a crash there, so I just uh, had to restart. All right, so now that we have those all welded up, uh, what we need to do is cut the shape into the main body. Okay, so let's reselect the main piece here, go to cut, go back up to our snaps, and we'll just continue working our way around this, cutting uh, this in. Okay, so we're gonna start up here on this corner, click on the vert, go down, and we'll click on each vert around the outer border of the plane. Okay, so just make sure you get each one there. Read back to where you started and right click. Okay, now we can turn off cut, we can turn off snaps. And let's go over to polygon here. And we'll just grab the polygons right around this section and we'll deselect the ones holding alt that we don't need. Okay, so we really just want to delete the polygons that are underneath the plane right now. Okay, like so, and we'll have a couple of weird ones over here. So let's deselect those. Okay, so just these ones here. All right, we can delete those out. All right, we're gonna have quite a bit of cleanup to do, but first let's attach these together. So let's go over to attach, attach the plane to the main part, and we'll go over to vertex. I'm gonna have two verts um, around the outer border here where we cut that. So let's grab all the verts around this whole piece. All right, and we'll just do a 0.1 weld here to weld those up. Okay, so let's hit okay to that. And if you wanna to check to make sure they're welded, just grab the corner vert there and drag it around. Um, if you only see one, then they should have all welded together. All right, so we look good there. And now what we need to do is figure out how we're gonna just get some quads in here and clean up the uh, mesh overall. All right, and as you can see, it's quite a mess right now. All right, so let's just zoom in here. Uh, you can see this one's a little bit off here, so I'm just gonna target weld this bird here to the center one. Okay, we'll just see if we can do that anywhere else. Up here at the top, let's target weld this one over. Okay, and on the side here, we have uh, you know a real mess right in this section here. All right, so we're going to need to clean that up quite a bit. All right, let's maybe try to reroute some of this. Uh, let's turn off our weld here. Let's go back over to cut and let's cut this vert here up until the center one here on the outside. Okay, just like that, right to this vert here. And let's see, let's maybe take out some of these edges now. I'm just trying to think of the best way we can do this. Let's maybe just clap some of them down. All right, so let's go to uh, target wall one more time. I'm just gonna start snapping these birds here in this section to the center edge here. Okay, so let's do this one over here. Just bring these all the way down. So we can get rid of some of these guys. Okay, we'll do this one too. And this one up. Okay, just like that. And let's go back to cut here for a second. Let's reroute this down this way to this edge and across to here. Okay, and let's also maybe connect this corner one here to this vert. 
And I'm just going to uh, move this one down just a little bit to space that out a little bit more. Okay, we have two on top of each other, so let's just target weld them together, like so. Okay, and let's also go back uh, to this vertex here. I'm going to grab this vert and connect it to this one. Okay, we're going to connect this one here down to here. All right, and up on this part here, let's do this one here at the bottom of the main hole over to the center edge here. So we'll just kind of keep working our way around this thing and see, uh, you know, the best way to do this. Let's connect this corner to this one as well, and we'll take out this one and this one. So just grab those two edges and remove them. Oops, remove. Okay, and let's go back to vertex here. Let's target weld this vert right here, up to the corner, and this one here down to the corner. Okay, it's gonna give us that triangle right there, but I don't think it should give us a problem. Okay, we have an end gone right here, so let's do something with this guy. Let's turn off target weld, go back to cut. Let's grab this vert right here, cut it over, and down to the center vert. Let's also maybe cut this one to here. Right click, we'll turn off cut, let's go back to edge, grab this edge and we'll remove that guy. Make it a little bit cleaner. And I'm just seeing if we can do anything else here to clean this up a little bit more. I'm not really liking the, the edge flow down here at all, but let's see if it gives us a problem before we uh, worry about tackling that. All right, so let's go back to perspective here, and let's go to border. I'm just gonna drag right over this to see if we have any open holes. Okay, and if you have missed any welds, it should highlight in red anywhere that's open. Uh, it looks like we're all welded up here, so that's good. We just wanna have these three holes in the center here selected, which we do. So we'll just shift drag these up maybe a bit to extrude this into the uh, body. So hold down shift, drag it up a little bit like so, and one more time. Okay, let's turn off border there. And let's redo uh, the smoothing here. So let's put another turbo smooth on two iterations. Let's maybe just do three. And we'll see if that looks okay. All right, so just check it out by rotating around uh, to make sure you don't have any artifacting. Okay, you can always put a you know a material with some spec on it uh, to see that a little easier. But again, the bottom's flat. We shouldn't have any artifacts, and it doesn't look like we do, which is good. Okay, so that'll take care of uh, all those holes that we need to cut in there. Uh, we obviously still need to do the lights, the screws, something to do with the spout here. So let's unhide all, and I think we have that all in the right position. Okay, so we're looking pretty good, and we'll just keep moving.